Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. David, how's it going? Good. How are you, Wilson? Good. So obviously, you know, in the last few years, you're no stranger doing action films, wearing costumes. So for this one, as you're being introduced into the MCU world, did you do anything different physical wise, comedy wise? You know, like what did you work differently for this movie? I mean, I will say that the the scope of it and the action is so much bigger than anything I'm used to. I mean, I've done oh, some of that, as you said. Yeah, it's bigger than that. Yeah, I mean, and the and the requirements that they had of me uh, in terms of, you know, there's some big fight stuff with guys that are very fast and strong. I remember there's this stunt guy, a taskmaster, and I, you know, I had to block his hands, and I was like, I kept going like, uh, we please slow down, like you're everything's so fast what you're doing. So I, you know, I had to do some boxing. I had to try to get in good shape not really like to look good but to feel strong and feel good and I did more of that than I've ever done in the past for anything else mm -hmm. and then there's the comedy and obviously you know there's some humor in the movie some of it comes from you you know and it's different because you know you don't see yourself as the, the com comedic guy but you're saying these comedic lines that are meant to be did it feel natural for you when you got your lines and you're saying it and, or did you have to do a couple of takes I mean, the whole process felt pretty natural and pretty seamless. And it's because of those other actors. Like, it's because of Scarlett, Florence, and Rachel. We just had a sort of rapport uh, where we loved each other. And they kind of loved, loved me as the dorky, you know, avuncular figure who had these crazy things. And that silliness would just come out on set and we would capture it. And I, I mean you know of course you're working very hard in terms of character and there are days when it's easier and days but that stuff just the dynamic between us was you know most days was pretty effortless and pretty enjoyable you're now into the mcu world and luckily there's no comic-con for you to attend and be like oh because everybody's gonna be quizzing you like how much do you know you know so <laughs> did you know about your character before or after you got the role did you had you seen all of the movies or did you have to play catch up I've seen, I saw most of the movies uh, and I did watch the ones that sort of were more germane to her story once we got close. I didn't know anything about the Red Guardian when I got the role, uh, but I, I don't think I'm alone in that. Like, I don't think a lot of people knew that much about it. So I, I went and I researched. In fact, I was doing some Comic Cons before and I would have, I would send out friends to go find in the Comic Con, like anything they could find on Red Guardian. We would find clips and different things. And the interesting thing about Red Guardian is, in the comics, he has different iterations. There was one iteration where he was married to Natasha. Um, there's, and there's iterations even when it's a woman playing it. The suit gets passed to different people as well, in the same sense of like a Captain America. Um, but I, I had no idea I had to start from scratch and really, uh, really find as much material as I possibly could. Before I let you go, was the suit tailored to you or was it tight as it is as the character? <laughs> the suit was the suit was was tight but it was it, you know the, the most amazing thing about those suits is they spend they 3d print out your body they scan your body and then they make a 3d model of your body and then they make that suit to that 3d model uh and then they make one that's just a little bit smaller for when you have to go put it on <laughs> so that's the one you see me putting on in the bathroom that was i had a blast <laughs> watching this watching you i'm sure we'll be talking again you got projects coming out left and right have a good day sir <laughs> thank you wilson good talk to you